What's up, y'all? I was just leaving the office and ew, oh hello. Um, somebody almost blew right through the intersection, even though I got the right of way, but it's cool. Uh, anyway, I was just leaving work, um, drinking water. Uh, thought came in my mind that that could help you, but uh, as far as checking your body to see if it is working at the optimal level one thing that i found um that whenever i did this little trick or this little technique that i was able to pick up on whether my body was overloaded or not um overloaded with you know toxins and uh, mucus and things like that so um that's this uh strategy that I, I employed was very natural, very easy to do. Everybody can do it. All you do is take a day, right? Choose a day. And then that day, you just don't eat for one day, as long as you can. And then as the day goes on, you'll just check, you'll just check all the different parts of your body where things will probably be uh, released. Let's say, for instance, your nose, check your nose. How, how snotty does your nose get? Um, you will check your uh, urine, see how, you, how foamy your urine becomes after, or how smelly it becomes after. Um, you'll check like, you know, um, even your, your breasts or your nipples or whatever, uh, you'll see if anything starts coming out of there. Um, you'll check your eyes see if you have any eye boogers that just keep popping up um keep coming out check the the consistency of them the color things like that so just check your body all all around check your body for smells any new uh, sensations that pop up in your body during this this one day fast and it's short enough that most people can do it unless you really let yourself go um over time but for the average person that's like more or less okay might be dealing with some issues but they're still living they're still working a full-time job or you know still moving about um this will let you know how dirty you are in your body this is my my preferred technique for like my own diagnostic test you know sometimes you can't get into a doctor and see and and get a checkup or sometimes you can't get into a doctor and um and do the blood work to see how unhealthy you are so instead of waiting till like you know six months till you get another appointment you could just do this on a regular maybe like once a month or more depending on how how much information you're trying to get from your from your uh tests but yeah do this like once a month check yourself see how dirty you become after doing one one day of testing and the testing is just one day of fasting that's all it is one day of fasting that's my preferred test um check to see what happens to your body and then go from there usually the places where stuff comes out are the places where it's the easiest for for stuff to come out of you so um that that place is most likely unobstructed by waste and and toxins and it's probably closer to operating in the like the best shape out of everything in your body like that's the best operating uh, functions at the moment and in places where it causes you pain most likely there are places where it's clogged up places where you have the worst issues where worst amount of toxins or waste um collecting there so those are the places where you want to like kind of ease into treating in different ways like some natural methods and stuff like that um but yeah overall one day fast best diagnostic test i have found to date for myself and you can go from there run that for a little bit let me know in the comments if you run into any issues um let me know in the comments you found any observations about yourself like that tied together so for me personally i noticed that whenever i do this test i get itches or i get like some residual um throbbing in areas where i hurt myself before like any kind of like scars they always started like lighting up a little bit like 
like y'all you'll start feeling a little tingle um in that area where you broke your arm or i, I actually broke my my collarbone a long time back so anytime i do this i usually get like a little tingle where i broke my collar collarbone so that's one of the things so check in with yourself see what happens let me know in the comments um and we can try to like work something out try to brainstorm some ways for you all to to get rid of these issues and um stop feeling those little tingles after a while from detoxing and such so i'll talk to y'all later